Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a sprite and backdrops for your jump scare project. So first thing we wanna do is get rid of Scratch Cat because Scratch Cat is not spooky enough for my jump scare. Goodbye, so I just click on that X and now I'm gonna go right here behind where I'm sitting and choose a sprite. So I'm looking for something that is spooky, so maybe it'd be under fantasy. Yeah, I got some good stuff in here. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go with a ghost. So when I highlight over it, it shows me all the different costumes, click on it, and now I have a ghost. I want it to appear right in the middle of the screen. Um, and what I'm gonna do for this project is I'm gonna make it switch between a bunch of backdrops, and then it's going to have the jump scare just pop out with this ghost. So I gotta add in some backdrops. So I go down here to choose a backdrop, click on this, and I'm gonna add in a bunch of backdrops right now. All right, so I added in a bunch of backdrops. You can see them all over here. And we're gonna make it so that in the next video, we can make this sprite hide at the very beginning, and then it's gonna pop out on one of these slides to make a jump scare. So for your own project, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a sprite, any kind of spooky sprite that you want, and you're going to add in a bunch of backdrops for your jump scare project. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.